This video is property of MBKP International and LEDLightShack.com. On this video, we're just going to kind of talk about the operation, of just getting a quick setup, um, or getting started and working with a, your uh, uh, computer, controlling your LED light curtains that we sell. Um, this is the controller. It could be hooked up to a DMX. You can also pre-program an SD card, which goes in this slot right here, to control the curtain through that as well. Or you can connect the the curtain to a Ethernet port. From your Ethernet port from your computer, drive through the box and control the curtain through um, through the computer as well. When you do that, um, you just got to make sure you're on program zero. You got these little buttons that go up and down. Um, A is for your DMX, and then you got programs one through nine for the curtain. Like if you did a pre-program on an SD card, that you would name one through nine. Um, if you working with your SD card, I took the SD card out because the curtain comes with the program already installed on the SD card. And I want to put that on my computer, and the way I did that is you just make sure you unplug it first, make sure there's no power on there, pull the SD card out, never remove the SD card with power on this, it'll destroy the SD card, so um, just make sure you unplug it before you do that, which I've already done. I put it in my computer right here, and then basically just navigate to the SD card, which is, this is the main SD card, um, G, um, and then what I went and looked for, I was looking for LED player, which is this one right here, and uh, double click on it that's the application for it. just double click on it install it on your computer after you install it it's going to create an icon which it did right here LED player and then um, basically once you're done with that um, it's the programs ready to run but I kind of want to talk about a few of these these are programs already programmed on SD card they're programs of um, basically you got all the way to nine here this is the one that's kind of like going through your computer to control the control the um, the curtain whatever um, you don't really need to have that on there but anyway it's not a big deal and you have some tutorial manuals um, videos there's a video on here kind of like help you get started as well just doing this one extra I'm gonna go ahead and close this out now and then I'm gonna open up a LED player when you first open up LED player you gotta make sure um, which it already is in this one. You want to make sure you're in this uh, synchron mode if you're going to control it through your computer. The asynchronous for when you're going to make a program to put on an SD card to control through an SD card, but right now we're going to do it through the computer. It's already check marked. And then I'm going to do auto set to um, so it finds the how big the curtain is. The curtain's already connected, ready, and it's going to tell us how big it is. So I'm just going to click that. It's going to say auto detect controller. I'm going to say yes let it do its thing and it came up with how big it is and it creates this little window up here you can actually there's a little icon right here so you can make um, make a bigger one this is actually a representation of the curtain and the reason why it's so small on your computer is because it's actually re representing each LED as one pixel and of course the curtain doesn't have as many pixels as your computer monitor does but I'm gonna go ahead and do a zoom on it and it creates this one and you can actually make it bigger just so you have a better idea of what you're seeing we're going to see on your curtain so I just kind of like make it about the size of the curtain um, I don't like this one effect you can actually do a, a brand new one but I'm kind of like leaving a couple here already but um, I'm going to get rid of this one effect right here just because it takes for, forever to do I'm kind of like showing people what to do and then it has these other effects right here you see what they would look like on the curtain you see them right there and then I'm going to go here to edit I'm just going to add some rich text. You can do images, you can do GIF, animate GIF, you can do flash. You can make these in your own program as well and save them to your computer and add them as well. But for now I'm just going to do some rich text just to kind of show people how to get started. And then basically go put the cursor in here in the small window and I'm going to say um, for LED light shack. kind of it, it'll all be on one line when it runs and then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to highlight everything I'm going to right click I'm going to do a font attribute and I'm just going to make it block and I'm going to change the color so I'll just make it now uh, we'll just do blue say okay so it'll change it so now I'm going to go here to my program and I'm just going to hit start make sure I'm on zero over here I'm going to go ahead and hit play and it'll start playing here in a minute. You can see it over here on the curtain over here. It's going to play the whole, the whole program. I just got three things on this program. Right now, it just switched to the second one. And it, at the very last, it's going to be the, 
the text that I just added. Screw that up, but anyways, it's probably good that I did. I just went ahead and did that. Let me go ahead and change it to where I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the program now. It's probably good that I made that. I'm gonna go ahead and select this text again. I'm gonna make this a little wider so I remember to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to um, scroll left. Okay, and it's just on one line here. And then let's see if it does it now. So now it's just scrolling left. The LED light shack that left on that's the way I wanted to do it. And you can make a, you can, so that's that. I'm going to go ahead and stop it one more time. I'm going to go back to the text. I'm going to highlight it all again. And I'm going to go back to the tribute. And you can make the text a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. Let's just try a little bit smaller and see what it looks like. Let's go down to, well, let's just go down to a smaller size. You can increase the speed too. Um, you can increase the speed or decrease. Actually, in this case, I'll decrease it just to see what it looks like since I made it smaller. And I'm going to go ahead and just run just, I got this highlighted. You can highlight each individual one. I'm just going to highlight this because I want to see what the text is going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and run it and see what it looks like on the curtain. No, oh, actually, I increased the speed. I didn't decrease it there. But, okay, so now I'll stop it. And make the speed longer. Let's see what happens when I make it a 6. Now I'll go ahead and hit Run. So you can do whatever text you want on there. Make it bigger, make it smaller, depending on what you need to do. Make it whatever color you want. You can do different kinds of animation. And then if you want it, you can save that program to run. Um, well, right now this is set up on your on your computer. So let me go ahead and go through something else to do a program that you're going to put, not on your computer, but you're going to put on the SD card. So let me hit stop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to the, um, to the control. I'm going to switch to this mode right here. Programs have been modified. I'm going to say no to this particular program. I'm going to say no. And basically, I'm going to do... You want to you'll want to change this. Um, you don't want because you'll end up saving it over position number one, what number one already was, and you could change the number on it to change it to two, whatever you want. But um, I'm just kind of like showing how to kind of like make more stuff here, it's animated stuff. Um, let's see, I'm gonna do more rich text, and I'll just do this real quick. I'm not gonna. This is a test. Just let it go at that. I don't want to do too too much. And then um, do save as. This part I don't really know. Maybe we should just stop it right here, Chris.